Hey folks, Sprocket here. Come on, focus camera. There we go. So, down inside here I was having issues because of these uh, real sharp angles inside here. I can't get a wire wheel in there. I can't get a wire brush. The problem is the paint's too thick and there's rust underneath the paint. It's kind of hard to see right now because, oh, here we go. So I'm blocking my own light. So, what I'm having to do is I'm having to sand it, which... I really don't suggest if you're trying to make the surface look smooth, but this here, I'm not worried about it being smooth because it's not supposed to be smooth, it's supposed to be textured, which is hard to see. I tried showing you in that other video, but regardless, I figured something out. Some of you may recognize this, others will not. It's basically half of a clothespin. It's made out of wood, but um, this here is a little bit easier on the sandpaper than, like, say, a screwdriver or something like that would be, which is metal. So it makes the paper last a little bit longer. And uh, all I'm basically doing, as you can see, is just curling it over the end, and then I can get in here. Now, you ain't going to see that because my knuckles are in the way, but uh, just a little tip. I figured that out. I thought I might share it. Um, so, as you can see, we're getting, we're making some progress. But you can see that brown color. There's definitely rust up underneath that paint. That's the whole point of doing this is I'm trying to get rid of that rust. And then I'll repaint that. Um, like I said, I'm not worried about it being smooth. This here is 80 grit. Now, I'll go over it again with something a little bit finer than that. But this is just to break up that super thick paint that they have on there plus the uh, uh, the rust is uh, a little scaly so it's to help break that up that's why I'm using that heavier sandpaper of course with sandpaper the lower the number the heavier the grit or the bigger the grit so um, yeah show you more of it hey, well hopefully you can see this okay that's pretty much as clean as I'm going to get it. Look, it's pretty shiny. Um, so all I got now to do <laughs> for this particular opening is to uh, clean it, tape it off, and paint it. Let's see, I've only got 19 more to go because there's five per wheel. So it's very time consuming, but... It'll be worth it in the end because once you get this cleaned up, painted, it doesn't rust because it's got paint over it. As long as you do your prep work good, make sure you got good adhesion with the paint, let it harden before you put the wheel on, should be good. Anyhow, that's it for today. Have a good one.